Hey guys, my name is Tessa. In case you've never seen my face, hello, it is nice to meet you. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite stretches for tight hips. So I have five stretches. I have been a professionally trained dancer, so I've discovered what stretches really help with your hips. And just for an average day person, we actually tend to hold a lot of our tension in our hips unknowingly, so it's very important to release them. But yeah, if you're just feeling like you have tightness in the front, you know, back here, just like you can't move well, this is going to be awesome for you. So again, there's five stretches. These are my favorite ones. I've narrowed it down, and these are the ones that I absolutely love. I do recommend staying in each position for about 30 seconds. However, listen to your body. If you need more, that's good. If you need less, that's okay. Just work your way up, stretch consistently, and you will continue getting more flexible. When you watch me do these stretches, do realize I am a dancer, so I'm going to be hyper flexible. However, that doesn't mean that you have to be nor should you be because a normal person is not. So just increase your flexibility day by day, but I'm going to show you a starting position and position. Just start wherever you're at, and as long as you're feeling the stretch where you should be, then we're good. That's all that we want. So yeah, five stretches. Let's do this. Let me show you guys what they are. So for the first exercise, we're going to cross our legs over. We have a 90 degree angle, and we're going to create another one. The goal is to be able to go like this, reach up and reach all the way down. That is the goal. However, you may be like this, which is completely fine. Just reach over and you'll slowly get better. Even if you're like this, that's okay. Just stay here and let your legs slowly lower. You'll get better with time. The goal though, again, is to be able to fully cross over, reach up and you're going to feel it all right here, that release, it feels awesome. This is my favorite stretch, literally ever. I always do it. Especially if my hips are tight, that's my, that's my first go-to. Second one, if you've done yoga, you've done this one. Pigeon, so you're going to go another 90 degree angle. And you're going to bring your leg back like that. And you're just gonna sit your hips down into the ground and then lean forward. Now, you may need to bring your leg in more like this to reach over, which is completely fine. That's okay. However, the advanced version is going to be having your knee in line with your hip and leaning forward. My foot always slides, so I always hold my foot just like this when I lean forward, but this you'll feel all right here. It feels great. I like to turn my ear towards this knee. I think it's most comfortable, just like that. Next one, we've all done this one. Just butterfly, you know what it is. Just going to come back. You might be like this. That's okay, but you know, you can just kind of bounce your knees down. You'll feel it again in the hip. Just kind of relax. You can lean forward if you'd like. You can use your elbows to push your knees further down. You know, this one I don't know why. I actually don't enjoy this one that much, so I always bounce in it. I just feel like it's like more entertaining and feels better. Feel that release right there. Now let's get the front of those hips. This, along with the first one, is my favorite stretch. So you're going to come into a lunge. Knee is going to maintain over the front heel. You're going to come up into a lunge and you're simply just going to reach this hip flexor forward. So you're feeling this stretch right here. If you're advanced, you can come up and reach back. You'll feel it all right here. It feels so good. Just like that. So our hips are square. We're pulling this hip to the ground and we're reaching back. Just like that. And also just stay here. That's great too. And if you want an extra little quad stretch, you're going to bring your back leg in and you're going to pull it in and you'll feel it all right here. It feels awesome. And again, if you're advanced, you can come up and you'll feel both the hip flexor and the quad. So it's a combination of those two. But oh, this one is great. So good for the quad. Really tight quads, great for after running. You get the hip flexor and the quad, which both tighten up when running. And then the last stretch that we're going to do looks a little funny. <laughs> But you're going to come here, and I don't know if you can see, but our knees are 90 degrees away. So you're probably going to be like this, which is completely fine. 
see from the front, that's what we're like. So knees in line with the feet, just like that. We're gonna sink as low as possible, but if you're up here, that's completely fine. Now that we're going to do is rock back. Just releasing all the tension in our hips. So make sure to definitely do some other stretches before this one, because this one is a little bit more advanced. You don't want to hurt yourself. Just like that. Amy, you're just bouncing. 